Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leila Tora and today I'll be talking about my weight loss journey and how I lost 40 pounds in two months. Just a quick disclaimer before we get started, I just wanted to say that I am not a professional, I am not a nutritionist, I am not a personal trainer, I have absolutely zero qualifications, but this is just about my personal experience and what has worked for me. If body image or any weight related topics are sensitive to you, please exit this video now, this video is not for you, your mental health should be your priority and the most important thing. So in this video I'll be giving you guys 5 tips on how I lost 40 pounds in 2 months. But before we get started, let me take you on a quick history of my journey. So growing up I always felt like the chubby one, I always felt like the biggest one in the group and I feel like I became very conscious of this from a early age because I'm a twin and my twin was much skinnier than I was so everyone would say to me, oh Layla, how come you're the bigger twin? Oh Layla, how come you're the fatter twin? So I definitely became body conscious from a super young age and this insecurity continued throughout my teens and I just remember on so many occasions wanting to go out and trying on so many clothes and feeling so fat and ugly in everything I put on that I literally just made me not want to go out and just stay at home. So in my teens, I actually managed to lose a lot of weight and I was so happy I finally reached my body goal, but I did it in such an unhealthy way that it was not maintainable. So by the time I got to the end of my university experience, I put on all the weight that I had lost and more. So in 2019, I graduated from university and I remember stepping on the scales for the first time in years and seeing 183 pounds. Now that is a lot of weight, especially for someone of my height, being five foot three and carrying 183 pounds is just way too much. So from then I knew I needed to do something about it, I needed to change my diet, I needed to exercise, I needed a major lifestyle change. This was so hard for me to do because for years I had created a lifestyle of just eating junk all the time, not exercising and just being super lazy to be honest. Then in 2020 COVID happened and I know COVID had such a negative impact on so many people including myself but if I could take one positive thing from COVID it was definitely my weight loss and it allowed me to lose 40 pounds in two months. So let's get into the five tips which allowed me to lose the weight. So the first tip is change your diet. So in 2020, all the restaurants and all the fast food places had completely shut down. So buying junk was no longer an option for me. So I used this to my advantage and I went on YouTube, I went on Instagram and I found so many healthy accounts and how to make quick and easy and healthy meals. Changing your diet, I believe, is the most important thing when it comes to weight loss because there is absolutely no point in exercising and your diet staying the same because you're really not going to get any results. So changing your diet should definitely be your priority. And there is no excuse because there are so many available platforms today on how to eat healthy. And honestly, you do not need to cut out any of the food groups. All the food groups are just as important as each other. It's just about portion sizes and portion control. So that takes me nicely into my second tip, which is calorie counting. I highly recommend calorie counting if you struggle with portion sizes and portion control. You can find out how many calories you're supposed to intake online based on your gender, height, weight, age and activity levels. I would highly recommend doing that because it is different for everyone. So when I was calorie counting, I used this amazing app called MyFitnessPal and MyFitnessPal allows you to log your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner and all your snacks in between and it's just a good way of tracking how many calories you're eating throughout the day and staying within your limit. Calorie counting can be very very difficult at times because when you are trying to reduce the amount of food that you are intaking there will definitely be moments that you are hungry but in those moments I found having a hot drink to be very beneficial. It just allowed me to get to sleep so that I would not go over my calorie limit for that day. You won't always feel hungry, I promise you that will change. Your body will eventually adjust and get used to your new portion sizes. So my third tip is walking 10,000 steps every single day with one rest day. So that means walking six days a week and on the seventh day you rest. 
that was not meant to sound biblical but we'll go with it <laughs> and your rest day can be any day of the week it can be at the beginning the middle the end whatever day suits you best if you're feeling super tired or exhausted one day use that as your rest day and then the next day just keep it moving it is very important to take that rest day because your body does need that time to recover and you don't want to put your body under too much stress because stress can result in injury and then injury could just stop you from walking altogether. Something that helped me to reach my 10,000 step count every day was getting rid of my car during the pandemic and that meant I had to walk absolutely everywhere. So walking 10,000 steps became so easy that I then increased my step count to 20,000 steps a day and then eventually 30,000 steps per day. And I know that sounds crazy, but it was the middle of the pandemic. There was absolutely nothing to do and the weather was beautiful. So I just utilized the opportunity and decided to walk a lot. <laughs> I know 10,000 steps can be a lot of steps to people who are not used to walking. So what I would find helpful and what I would recommend is splitting it and walking 5,000 steps in the morning and then 5,000 steps in the evening. Walking so many steps every day became so enjoyable to me. I found ways to enjoy it, whether that was listening to music or to a podcast or catching up with friends on the phone. Just find ways in which you can get excited about walking. Okay, so my fourth tip is cutting out all drinks. So that includes juices, fizzy drinks and alcohol and replacing it with just water. And I know you're probably tired of hearing everyone say just drink water, but honestly, it really does work. This was honestly the hardest step for me because I love my juice. Like I look forward to drinking my juice with my meals. I look forward to my orange juice, my ginger ale and completely removing all those things and replacing it with just water, which I never drank. Like I never used to drink water was super, super hard for me. But once you make that adjustment, I promise you it is a lot easier. Your body will eventually adjust and just crave water. You just need to be consistent and stick at it. Something that really helped me on this journey was that there were so many moments that I felt like I was hungry, but I was actually thirsty. And you would think that your body can tell the difference between hunger and thirst. But honestly, in moments where you feel like you are hungry, try having a glass of water and it can make all the difference. Drinking water is honestly key on this journey because I noticed a drastic change in my body weight when I replaced all those sugary juices with just water, which obviously has zero calories. I don't think people are aware that these juices have so many calories in them, so much sugar, that it's almost like a meal replacement and it's taking up a whole meal's worth of calories. So once you make that change, you will honestly see such great results in your body. Okay, so my fifth and final tip is be consistent even when you do not see results be consistent even when you're not seeing the results as fast as you would like to see them remain consistent I remember the first two weeks of my journey I was seeing absolutely no results I remember stepping on the scales and my body weight was exactly the same and I just remained consistent I didn't give up and from that moment I honestly saw results Something that really helped me to remain consistent on this journey was finding people to be consistent with. So I would get my mum to walk with me, I would get my sister to walk with me, just to make sure I was on track for my 10,000 steps per day. And just having people to be accountable to or to encourage you on your journey is really, really helpful. Another thing that allowed me to remain consistent and motivated was weighing myself every single day. And I know that is not helpful to a lot of people and it's not really healthy for a lot of people, but it is something that definitely worked for me and it allowed me to stay on track of my progress. And even on days when I would step on the scales and I saw that I actually did weigh more, it would make me work harder. And then on days when I did actually weigh less and see some results, I would still go harder. So it didn't affect my progress at all. And I'm fully aware of the fact that there will be days when you do weigh more, not by your own doing, but your body will naturally weigh more because of your muscle, because of water retention. And especially for females, when 
it is around your time of the month, you will definitely weigh heavier on the scales. Another helpful tip to remain consistent is planning your meals in advance. Never be in a situation where you do not know what you are going to eat or leave yourself so hungry to the point that you literally grab for anything and usually that would be junk food. When it comes to meal planning, be as organised and as structured as you possibly can. So those were the five tips I used to lose 40 pounds in two months. I now go to the gym to maintain my weight and I have a healthy balanced diet, but I was under more of a strict regime for two months to get some fast and effective results. If you are on this journey, I honestly wish you the best. I know how hard and difficult this can be, but just remain focused, be consistent. You've got this. Don't be too hard on yourself. Life happens, things happen. Just remain focused and do the best that you can. Don't put time pressures on yourself. I know I lost my weight really, really quickly, but everybody's bodies are different. So work at your own pace. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. I honestly hope that this helps someone to reach their goal. If any of you guys have any tips, tricks, or similar experiences, please, please share in the comments below. I would love to hear all about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!